Hi, this is KC from KC Boomer Tech. We talk about everything tech, fun stuff, and much, much more from a grandpa's point of view. Hey, have you ever had a light decided you needed to put a light switch? You know, my grandkids ask me, Dad, Grandpa, hey, I got a light, but, you know, it's up here and I can't reach to change the switch. And I want to put a switch. My son says, how can I put a switch in between? So today, I'm going to be showing you how to add a switch in between the cord. Simple explanation on how to do it. So I hope you enjoy this video, and I'll be showing you that in just a second. So... As we said, we're going to be taking this lamp and attach it. I'm putting a switch along the cord to make it easier to turn on and off. Because sometimes you have this up, it's too high. So we're going to be using a switch, heavy-duty cord switch. Now, they make a cheaper one um, that you can also use, and that's good. I pr just personally prefer this one, you know, on and off. So let's get to... And I will t open up and change this. So let's first look at it. You know, you're obviously going to need a screwdriver to open it. So let's do that real quick. So I've opened the switch, and as you can see in here, we have basically two terminals we were going to kind of attach to, and the wire comes through here. Now, uh, let's look at the cord. Now, if you look at the cord, the most important thing you need to do, if a lamp is UL certified, and it should be, this one is, you have two plugs. One of them you'll notice okay I don't think let's see if I get it better there we go one of them is thicker than the other the larger one is your neutral and this one is your hot or power and you'll notice that on the cord as you look through it one side is going to have a marking or some type of braiding and that's going to tell you which one of these is your neutral and what you do, once you've identified, you want to find the hot side. Follow it back. And that's the side that you're going to be making your cut at. All right. So let me get to it. And uh, I'll show you what we do next. So I've identified that this is the hot side. And this is where I want to separate the two wires. And then what you want to do carefully split your two wires once you've done that the wire which you've marked you want to cut that in half And once you do that, you're going to strip off some of the insulation on each side. I'll be right back with you. Now, if you have a wire stripper handle handy, you can use that. Or very, very carefully, take a knife and go across the insulation, turn it, turning it gently and stripping off the insulation. You know, I have a wire stripper somewhere in the house, <clears throat> but, uh, or a pair of pliers would work. And you can see I have stripped the wire off. Let me show you what you're going to do next. The next thing you want to do is just put the wire. You have, look at where, you, where you're connecting. One side will come from your outlet. 
you know this side will go to your thing so basically you want to have the switch is down towards the lamp turning it on and this turning it off so you want to make sure that the side of the cord that has the plug is on that side so let me put this on and I will get... so I've installed the two wires now the one thing I want you to make sure you know <clears throat> is on these screws that's tightened up here the wire must go in a clockwise direction wrapped around not counterclockwise and the reason is simple as you tighten down on these screws right what's going to happen is the the braid the since the wire is braided you'll discover that it'll try to walk out from underneath the screw so you want to do that make sure you twist the wires together before you start and once you've got them both together you set that in and now we're ready to put the cover back on, which I'll do that and get right back to you in a second so you can see what that looks like. Now as you tighten these down, <clears throat> of course you want to get them firmly tight. But if you notice that you're, as you come down, these switches have a clamping device that's going to hold the wire tight in the box. So as you come down and tighten it, you want to pay attention that your wire is going to lay flat. So, as in here, you want to make sure that the wire is going to come down flat. So as the clumping, clamping device grabs a hold of that wire, which is going to hold it in place, you want to make sure that you've got it <clears throat> carefully and securely in place. Otherwise, you'll be clamping vertically and you can crack the plastic. You'll do the same thing on the other side. As you can see, and you need to make sure you turn it so that it's laying flat in the opening. So that as you tighten down, you're gonna get, now you say, well, why am I making a point of this? And I'll tell you why. You know, when I was first doing stuff like this I broke a couple of these so what I try to do is give you words of wisdom I mean you say well why don't I use an, a wireless light or something like that well wireless lights are fine but they're expensive too so <clears throat> here we are connected let me give a run a quick test to this I plugged it in and we have our lamp. And voila. Works fine. So to come to conclusion so that was really simple <clears throat> it's not hard at all to change install a light switch on a lamp or an appliance that you want to be able to turn on and off and again they come in a the cheap kind you can rotate in uh, and you have this little more durable switch I personally don't like the ones that uh, that you rotate like this they tend to break a lot um, um, and I'm hoping that this is helpful for you because I grew up uh, didn't have a dad initially and we had later on had a stepdad so I had to learn myself how to do the things around the house so I've shown my sons and I'll be showing my grandsons and I've sh and asked a lot of people a lot of people have asked me how do you do this how do you do that so please share and like and subscribe to the channel I'll be bringing you all kinds of different things um, from the point of a grandpa showing you how to get things done around the house how to fix things how to travel 
all kinds of things. So until next time, be good and have a great day. 